This is probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen so far in Sweden. Welcome to one of Sweden's 270,000 plus islands. An island that was forged by giants. An island that you can explore in a single day. saw a seal. It's chilling in the water just over there. It's so cool and it's so cute. Apparently his name is Knubbe and he lives here. Currently walking up the hill at the harbour to go do the number one thing that you have to do when you're on Van Island. It is beautiful here. We've been here for 10 minutes. We've already seen baby swans, a seal, also home to a lot of endangered species of birds and insects and they live only here. They got a whiskey distillery that also do gin and vodka and an ice cream factory as well. God I'm puffed out. And here's the number one thing to do when you're in van. We're riding tandem. We're riding tandem. So the good news is is that when you're here you don't have to worry about getting a bike. There are so many of them. They will never run out, maybe in peak season but uh, there's so many of them. It cost us about 270 sec for a tandem bike with a basket, so let's get on the road. We're about five minutes into riding the bike and Will already needs a break. <laughs> this is the observatory of the famous Danish astronomer Tukubala. It was built in 1584 and he studied here for 21 years. When he was finished with his studies, he had recorded the position of 777 new stars. We are now at the harbour at a restaurant called Pausa Hosos, which means take a break with us and that is exactly what we're doing. So we're here having some beautiful Swedish cuisines. Will is having a Wallenbeere, which is a classic Swedish dish. It's made from minced meat and cream and eggs, kind of like a rizzle. And I'm having a fish soup with cod from the ocean right down here and some blue mussels, some bread and some aioli. And I'm very excited because it's So we've just finished our lunch and hopped back on the bike. We're riding around the island now and mine was pretty average to be honest. It wasn't fantastic, but Josie, how was yours? Mine was great. I loved it. It was really good. There you go. Lesson learned. If you go there, get the seafood soup. Let's keep showing you around. We have been here now for about two hours and we have stopped at St. Tibbs Church. And this is one of my favorite spots on the island because the view is just magnificent. Oh, best view <laughs> I've seen all day so far. This is my favorite spot, 100%. I don't see how we're going to top this. This is probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen so far in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. After riding around this entire island, cannot wait to hop into the water. Josie says it's freezing. Yeah. On this side it is, yeah. Alright, wish us luck. Now, you're going to have to excuse us, our GoPro isn't working at the moment, so we're using our phone. See how cold it is. Sweden. This is the first time I've gone in the water in Sweden. We did get here in winter, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, there's jellyfish. Yeah, they don't burn though. They don't burn, they're jellyfish. Yeah, they don't burn. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cold. Burn if they're red. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I, yeah, I told you. Oh my god, no, hell no. All right, I'm cool. I'm good. That was nice. I feel refreshed. For the record, I've gone in the water when it was nine degrees. So. I've gone in the water when it was nine degrees. Thank <laughs> you. 
she did it. To everyone that thinks that it's always cold and snowing in Sweden, today it's about 25 degrees, maybe 27. The sun is shining, the skies are blue, and I've just been in the water. That was cold though, but it's early in the summer. I just wanted to do a shout out for Sweden. It's not always cold and polar bears are not roaming the streets, I promise. We are back where we started this morning, back at the boat harbour, and it has been an absolutely wonderful day. I've had such a good time riding around the island. How about you? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it is a beautiful island. There's so many places to stop and have a look. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're now waiting here by the boats. Josie was brave enough to just come out of the water. She went for a swim. I chickened out. I could not do it. But if this video hits 100 likes, then on the day that it hits 100 likes, I will go for a swim. Doesn't matter if it's plus five, minus five, plus 25, minus 25. I will jump in the water. That is my promise to you. And it's very simple. If you want to see it, all you have to do is click the like button. I for one really want to see it. So please hit like button. <laughs> Josie's going to like it on her personal account. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> yes. We have some very exciting news as well to share with you. Now we're not going to share it in this video. It is going to be in the next video. And the reason for that is that it needs an entire video, but something very exciting is coming up. So make sure to stay tuned. That'll be up in the next few days. See you guys soon. Bye.